Hello friends! One more time, one more way, we're gonna keep on playing Minecraft. We've got the 1.8 survival, we've got the uh, 1.7.9 Cube Realm multiplayer, and now the heavily modded Forge single player with the following mods installed. Biomes of Plenty, Dr. Zark's Mole Creatures, Gravestone, Roguelike Dungeons, and the Twilight Forest. I haven't had much luck in uh, getting any anything else to work with this group. Sorry, I get distracted by things. So, I'm going to start. I, I did a test run earlier. I just sort of did a little bit running around. I'm going to call this one A New Start Forge Duh. Game Mode Survival. Get some options. We're going to allow cheats. We're going to have a bonus chest. World type. Biomes Plenty. I did not realize that that had to be set as a world type. I'm going to set a seed. Let's set a seed. Let's do, well, name of the series. Let's see how that goes. And create. Now, with this particular set of mods, it takes a little while for the terrain to build and for it to start. So, have a little elevator music. What is that sound? already being menaced by a snake. And here we are. I like to get the uh, the chests just because it gives me sort of a, a, a hint of what's to come. Now, I will tell you those things I know about the things I find that are new. Waiting boots, I'm going to have to assume are something like the, the new Depth Strider enchantment. They uh, make it easier to walk in water. Doesn't look like they have any armor at all. Biome Essence is uh, something that can be used to find biomes, which is honestly not all that useful in general, particularly as you can find biome essence everywhere. Is that coarse dirt? Nope, it's just dirt dirt. I moved back to default texture pack because I figured with all the new stuff I'd want to be able to identify things uh, pretty much as easily as I can. What is that? I don't know. I tried to add the witchery mod, but uh, that didn't seem to want to play with this group. Uh, just too bad. It looks like fun. Well, I suppose I can make a sword. sword. We've got a pick. And I'm going to get a shovel going. Because the gravestone mod... Do I have enough to make a... Nax? I do. Uh, the gravestone mod has these little randomly generated gravestones all over the place. Um, and they sometimes have goodies in them. But you need a shovel. You can't just break them with your hand or something. Uh, it also places a gravestone at your point of death, which is a good a good thing. I should kill some sheep and make a bed early on. There's some very nasty things that come out at night. Hi, sheep. Sorry, I don't have any shears. So I'm going to have to kill you. Because my sleep is important, dang it. 
More wood. Cut down this tree. Oh, I needed to get wood before I got the uh, achievement for making the bench. I wonder if any of these mods adds an achievement. I don't see any obvious ones. Hmm. Well, wait, why did it, where's the Minecraft button? Oh, I see. So these are Twilight Forest achievements and Minecraft achievements. How nice. That was a very loud click. Okay, why did I just cut down some wood? To make a bed. To make a bed. I continue to be a distractible young man. Well, young is a relative thing. Wool, wool. Wait a minute. Did I not get three pieces of wool? Oi. Gotta go kill another sheep. You made me do it. I didn't want to be a killer. Sheepity sheep. Give me some wool. Thank you. Right. I have no problem being a little bit cowardly about spending the night out in the open. At least at first. Um, as I said in a, a previous one about uh, my presence being dangerous to villagers, even more so here, man, there are dangerous things out there. As I say, I've played around uh, with this mod. Well, it's not a mod pack, but this assembly before. It's interesting. It's fun. There's a rogue. There's a dungeon. I'm not going to go very far in because I will die. They are very dangerous for, for a just starting out player. But they don't, like, trap you as soon as you stick your head in. So we can take a peek. See if we can get... What did we? Look at this. Rex was pummeled by silverfish. Aw. The, um, the animal monuments don't have goodies in them, but the other ones you find, um, you can find goodies in them. Or monsters. Or just rotten flesh. So typically, as I understand it, down is dangerous, and up may or may not be dangerous. I don't know, the, the ones I've done, up just was... Don't make me go down by accident. Um, there's nothing particularly scary about up, except, you know, holes in the floor. Ooh, there's goodies. Holy crap, look at all the goodies. All right, um, sticks, torches, we got some duds, more torches. Okay, it's not as much as it looked because it's not all put together. Laudanum. Now, laudanum is from, I think, the biomes texture pack. And in this particular version, all it does is make you nauseous. It's supposed to have other, other effects, too. And a memo by Greymark. Get some stone sword. We'll upgrade. Well, for now, we'll load up. I'm just going to leave the laudanum, because there's a lot of that out there. I'm going to leave the biome essence behind, because cold taiga hills are not rare enough for me to want to do magic doodads uh, to find it. Okay, let's read the memo. Dear Aniko, Please stop storing the TNT under the floor. It's not very safe. One of these days, there's going to be an accident, and we'll be left with a smoking crater in the middle of the base. Greymark. 
Roguelike Dungeons, version 1.33, June 8th, 2014. Credits, author Greymark, bits, drain soul, ideas, any go at any chow. And that's a nice touch, but I'm not going to keep it, and I'm not going downstairs. There's some neat things in those dungeons. There really, really are. Um, but I'm not ready yet. Look at my waiting... Oh, let's look at the pants. We've got Projectile Protection 1, and I'm breaking 2. We've got Protection 2, and I'm breaking 1. Hmm. And Projectile Protection 2, and I'm breaking 1. So we'll take Protection 2. And this mod assortment gives maybe a bit more um, stuff than perhaps is quite necessary. I think each mod adds stuff, so any sort of randomly generated chest, you get lots and lots and lots of stuff. Okay, so... I imagine these are... Yeah, I guess that's faster than usual. Get a little frame rate stutter as we get into new terrain. That's the thing that happens. Uh, much better in the 1.8. Oh, look at that village already. We're actually swimming faster, too, I think. Feels like it. Less bobbing, anyway. And the biome skies are weird. That looks like... Well, I know in, in vanilla uh, Minecraft, the villages don't happen in forests. It's like just a couple buildings, large ones. I'm going to see if there's anything to take, and I'm not going to hang out here. <laughs> I was wondering if it was inhabited. Hi, buds. Is it just two buildings? Hi. Two buildings and a well? Is that really... Okay. It's not so much a village as neighbors. Huh. Alrighty then. Into this forest. Which is... Jade Cliffs? There's a rat. Should I kill the rat? What do you think? In dungeons they bite, but I'm not sure if the one's out, out in the wild... Did he drop seeds? Or did I just knock some grass? Another one. Hi, I killed you, buddy. I can't tell if the sun is going down or if that's just a, a function of the biome. Get me some pumpkins. Always get pumpkins when you can. Did it say Emerald Hills? If you'd said Emerald Hills, this is not what I would envision. Jade Cliffs, Emerald Hills. <laughs> okay, I think this looks like evening. So I'm going to let... Look at all the pumpkins! Let's sleep right here. More pumpkins. They were rarer once, pumpkins. And I always considered it a matter of great good luck to find some. Now they're less rare and farmable. But that doesn't mean they're not good luck. Make your own luck or something. Alright, let's see. We don't want to hit the Twilight Forest at some point. Oh, I need food at some point, too. Look at this. What if pumpkins are just extra plentiful in the Jade Cliffs? something more useful to my survival, but no, I'm collecting pumpkins. Boots. 
don't seem to take any damage. Hello! I need food. These, these are cliffs. I don't really want much to do with that lava. I'm gonna go around it if I can. bit of scenery. There's lava back there too, huh? Stay out of the lava! God, that flickering sky is a little distracting. Give me food. What's... seen any critters since all those sheep back there. Well, and the rats. And that one snake. I'll probably want sugarcane one day. Bam. It has uses. Oh. That's an interesting biome there. This is a Dangerous place to stay the night in this biome up ahead. Any fish in the water? There are dangerous fish now. This is... I want to say Deadlands. If not that, then something like that. Quagmire! Ah. Clearly not very good with specifics. This mud? It's mud. You can actually use mud to make weapons and armor. It's not very good weapons and armor. See, a place called Quagmire, I would expect there to be sinking mud or sand somewhere. It. Ah. What the hell was that? An alligator. Fair enough. Ah! I almost walked right into its mate. Well, I think alligators have meat. So we are going to... Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dismount? I was riding it? Nope. No meat. It's the alligators in the mud. I don't know. I don't want to deal with them. Um, I don't know what these are. Marcus fell from a high place. He just has a fancier tomb. I don't want to ride you! I am left-clicking with a sword! Alright, you know what? I'd better just go away. That seems like a dangerous thing. So yeah, Quagmire. I used a lot of... Uh, Food, too. Right, food has become a desperate priority. I think Quagmire is not a place to find any. I hear a spider somewhere in the distance. I see grass. This may be the end of the Quagmire. I'd best not be doing any jumping or running because I don't want to start starving to death. 
It is among my least favorite things. What difficulty am I set to? I seem to be getting hungry. Normal, okay. I seem to be getting hungry faster than I'm used to. I hear running water. Oh, look at that, I'm starving. Crap, what do I do? I buy... Oh, fish. <sighs> I'll bet the quagmire takes it from you in some fashion. I better just get out of the quagmire fast. Maybe walking through mud uses extra... There's another one. <sighs> go away, go away. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think we're going to start over in a minute. <laughs> yep. Well, that was that direction. Let's go in this direction. Snake never fought back. Dragonfly. Goat! Butterflies. Aww. It's much nicer here than in the quagmire. Pretty things. All right. Uh, starting fresh. Come on. Make a sword. Make a pick. Shovel. And a Nax. Right now. Let's see if I can kill that goat. He's got the little, uh, orange pollen sacks under him. That's adorable. Do I want to kill the goat? Do I want to try to kill the goat, more to the point? Is that you eating? Oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> cow tipper. Apparently cow tipper is getting leather, not killing a cow. Well, that wasn't as satisfying as I'd hoped. Oh, we don't have a bed now. Sunset approaches. What should I do? I'm gonna take a boat out into the ocean. And hope nothing in the ocean can kill me through the boat. And I don't have enough wood for a second boat. Because I know swimming in the ocean can be dangerous. But hopefully boating in the ocean's okay. If not, we'll start a third time. Sharks. Oh, jeez. We're going to find out right now. Holy cow, all the sharks. Eee. <laughs> That's pretty. I should follow the coastline. Let's follow the coastline westward. Westward ho. Uh, 
we may be bothered by some flying beasties, because there are some terrors of the night that might spawn out here. I don't know. Usually being out in the water is safe, relatively. I mean, it, it's, it's a way to spend the night. It's not too bad. I wouldn't swim out here, though. You saw the sharks I just swam through. Wow. What kind of terrain is that? Whoa. I... Is that sand? I kind of want to update that so that whole cliff falls. That's fascinating. Can I get close enough to read the biome without dying? Ocean, ocean, ocean. Come on. I don't want to reach the shore. I don't want to break my boat. River. Great. Alright, you know what? Fine. It's just a really interesting terrain. Oop, skeleton. Stay away, you can break my boat. That's uh, a thingy. Oh, there's another roguelike. Looks like one of the sandstone ones. It's gotta be some kind of desert, right? Well, I'm not going in there now either. I'm actually less prepared than I was. Although, if it's got another uh, chest at the top, I wonder if I can survive the run that far. It should be a relatively secure place to spend the night. Boy, does that sound like bad reasoning. <laughs> hmm. Any fish directly under me? Nah, I'm going to wait out here. How close are we to... Ah, uh, midnight. Alright. Keep exploring along the coast. So, how was your day? No, really? Aw, oh, that's too bad. You'll show him next time. What is... that's just a tree. It's a good way to see lots of terrain. At least anything that can be coastal. What's that light? Is it just a lava puddle, or is there something going on? Looks like it's just a lava puddle. Swamp, or swamp-like thing? Well, that's not lava, that's, uh... I don't know what that is. It's just, I can see some light. Is that plant glowing, maybe? Alright, go away. Go away, go away, go away. <laughs> oh, spiders will follow you right out to sea, too. Maybe you'll get eaten by a shark. Is that like a banyan forest, would you say? I want to know what's lit. Curiosity will be the death of me. Absolutely. I mean, that's the main reason I was wandering around the quagmire, because it's one of the new unfamiliar biomes. What is... Oh, my goodness. I could not have seen a clearer sign to not go there. <laughs> It was a little disturbing to see a whole um, mob of mobs spawn all at once. Yeah, I'm going to say Banyan Forest, or something like that. Oh, this would be a good place to break my boat. I'm not even going to try. I wonder if there's a mod that just makes boats better. I mean, it doesn't even need to be, like, the, the big airship and... and magical boat mod. 
Oh! I totally did not see that sandbar. Huh. Okay. Stranded on a sandbar. With any luck, I'm far enough away from any of these things. Alright, well, let's see if I can get down and uh, get some stone while I'm here. The answer is yes. Yes, I can. I can start upgrading my gear. Cool! Yay! Now I can make torches. Right now. I'm going to make a torch. Blink. I'd hate for something to spawn while I was down here up on top. Cool. Then I can upgrade my tools to stone tools. Make a furnace. All those normal beginning things. Coal. Dig and coal, dig and coal. No any coal digging songs. I bet they exist. All I can think of is like Hi Ho from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. They weren't digging coal specifically, but I'm sure that was among the things they dug. <sighs> Keep knocking out my torches. I don't want to hit water. Alright. I could actually, uh... get those torches back. Just close off the hole. Sunrise approaches. Um, all right, let's gear up. Do that. And this, which means axe will have to wait. No, nope, wait. I can do axe. The furnace will have to wait, which is okay. Yeah, no need for a hoe right now. Ta da! Let's see if we can. Maybe now go and find out what was lit up. And see if I see how correctly I identified the biome. And I miss my uh, waders. Hello, creeper. I'm going to kill you. Because it's what I do. I am a creeper killer. Go. Go. Let me get a little more stone so I can make a furnace. Sludge pit. Yeah, jeez. 
I don't know why that startled me so much. I should be used to, uh, zombies by now, but... Oh, look, it's an ant! I think... That means it would be a bad place to cut down trees. Oh, there's a birch ant in the back. Hi, buddy. Bzz. Buddies. Hi. Oh, you got something living in your leg. That's cute. Hello, birch ants. Oh, uh, don't look in that stuff. Is that quicksand or just muck? Sludge, actually, would be a good guess. Hi, buddies. You're awesome, and I'm not going to fight you or try to cut down trees while I'm here. I want to see what was glowing back. I'm, I'm sure it'll be like a little tiny lava puddle or something that is completely underwhelming. But I want to know... What is that? What is that? Is that like... That's an... Thank you.